Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. This is your fellow servant, um, Brother Hawad. Back with another lesson, Lord willing, is edifying to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and Israelites that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like these different nations, all right? You got Israelites that's been scattered that look like white people, Chinese, Japanese, African, um, Dahe East Indian, so forth and so on, and they're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. This whole system was set up, you see, for us not to have this knowledge. It's all part of the Lord's movie. And then, and then going right, and I, I want to get some right quick. It's just good. I'm just flowing in this. I, I, was, I was watching uh, the elder brother, Karata Zakba, from Baltimore, his lesson that he did. Let me pull the title up right quick. Bear with me. I'm multitasking this morning. 10 year olds, 10 year olds targeted for, for arrest in Baltimore. Where are the parents? Hell, first and foremost, they kicked the man out of the house. And, and then in that, you, and he made a beautiful point. If you put the man back in the house, it still ain't going to change nothing because the wicked is still ruling the earth. So if you take the Israelite man and put him back in the house, ain't nothing going to change. This feminist shit that went too far gone left. You see? Let's get this, though, and then I'm going to come right back. This is Proverbs. Because it says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, right? They despise, you know what I'm saying? They hate the instructions. The Lord set up order. Our people, our people love chaos. Look at the average Israelite. They love chaos, all right? And then we're in a system, you know what I'm saying? This devil set up a system to where you can't even whoop your offspring. You go to jail. The parents go to jail for disciplining their offspring. And like, and like, like the elder mentioned, you know what I'm saying? These damn schools, you know what I'm saying? These food systems ain't nothing but concentration camps. You see? Uh, pretty much... um. Facilities set up, you know what I'm saying, to, to deprogram them from what you're teaching them. So everything that you teach your offspring, your child, they deprogram them. And then they then, then they insert their their ways and their um methods of how to act. Look at our people, man. Jose four and six jumping right off the page, man. Now I'm thinking about it right now. And I got to get ready to head out in a few and go get this daily bread. But I don't want to go out of the house and look at these damn ninjas. Sleazy, you created it. Matter of fact, let's just keep reading. I got some scriptures. Um, what did it say? The wheels are starting to turn now. Proverbs. Oh, I want Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs right quick. I'm multitasking, so just bear with me. And it's early in the morning. But I, 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 I want to get it in right quick. Uh, 10 year olds targeted for arrest now 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 Israelite um, boy and girl 10 years old can get charged as a damn adult let's get let's get this Proverbs chapter 13 but we'll look, but the men on the highways and byways we're, we're the crazy ones right we're the bugged out ones right we bring out the scriptures how, how the hell can you call somebody that's bringing out the bible just telling your people to repent Turn back to the Lord. How can you call you calling them? You're bugged the hell out. You're calling us bugged out. No, you're bugged the hell out, man. The bug out machine is open, right? Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. And it reads, Whoso despises the word, the words of the Bible. See this devil, oh yeah, we're gonna get rid of the Bible. We're not gonna get rid of the Quran. We're not gonna get rid of the, the witchcraft books. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna get rid of the Talmud. We're not gonna get rid of the um the Egyptian book of the dead. We're not gonna get rid of the um negative 42 um the um 40, 42 negative laws of Miyak. We're not gonna get rid of none of none of them none of that sorcery shit. We're gonna get rid of the Bible. The only book that you need that can govern the earth and righteousness, we're gonna get rid of that, because they're the wicked, man. 
What does it say again? Proverbs 13, 13. Whoso despises the word, and the word despises means the hate, shall be destroyed. Remember, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because they hate this word. But in the same breath, they fill them damn holler houses up every damn Sunday, you know what I'm saying, or throughout the week, Monday. Because I know when um, I was staying with my grandma, uh, she was a seven-day Adventist, a seven-day wickedness. You see, we went to church like three times a damn week, being, being indoctrinated with that BS, man. You see? Damn white Jesus, man. You see? We're just saying, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Now, our people haven't been taught the fear of the Lord. Let's, let's get this again. Let's get Hosea again. Let's get Hosea again. It's crazy, man. But it's all part of the movie. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, My people, that word my is possessive. My people, the Hebrew Israelites, right? The biblical Hebrew Israelites, right? The, the people in the damn ghetto, the poverty-stricken neighborhood, the barrios, you see, the reservations. Those are the Israelites, man. And the Lord said that you destroy it for the lack of knowledge. Somebody tried to teach you something, um, you, know, you, don't, you don't want to hear it. Just go to college, go to college, go to college. And college don't teach you a damn thing, all right? All, only thing you do, it just program you. That's all college does. It just program you. That's all. It don't teach you. It don't teach you how to be an owner of a business. It teach you how to work for somebody. You see this whole system, man. They don't. They don't um, set up um, programs to teach you how to farm and you see how to have you how to have your own. This whole this ain't nothing but slavery, man. My people are destroyed. You know what I'm saying so, like it for the rent, but it come out sometimes. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And look at the average Negro, Latino, and Native American pants down their ass. Then shit, you on the damn bus. They stand a crack showing. A damn boat of light you need to come right on down your and strike you dead in your in the crack of your ass. You know what I'm saying? For all you Israelites walking around with your damn pants down. You know what I'm saying? The Lord need to just open up a sinkhole, just swallow you whole, man. Just, so we ain't gotta see you no more. But it's coming though. That fire's coming. Look, 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 look. Because thou has rejected knowledge, meaning the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scripture, which is the only thing that's gonna keep you stable. This is the only thing that's gonna keep us stable, but our people don't know. You see? They, they want the knowledge of crack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, selling, cracking, um, um, making it, cooking it. You know what I'm saying? Bagging up um, um, weed and shit like that. Committing adultery, sorcery. That's the, that's the knowledge that they want. When, it, when the scriptures say the knowledge of wickedness is not knowledge. You, you damn Israelites think y'all so damn smart in your wickedness, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, I know how to, um, I know how to um, draw a tattoo. This shit wicked, man. Once we have no printings or no marks on our flesh. And the Israelites that do got them, don't get them no more once you learn. That's why, that's why this knowledge is so important, man. And this devil trying to do everything within his power, you know what I'm saying, to stop it from coming out, man. You see? We just say because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's why you see the majority of our people homeless as hell. You know what I'm saying? And just going through prayer hell, you know what I'm saying? Which is a condition played out on earth. It's not a place where you burn it forever. Hell is a condition played out on earth, just like heaven. Now, you do got the heavens of heaven, you know what I'm saying? But heaven represents rulership, and hell represents slavery, right? The Lord said you reject the knowledge, I'm going to put your ass in hell, which is a condition played out on earth, slavery. I, look, look, I will also reject thee. So our people have been rejected, man. You see it, man. And it, look, man, once the Lord rejects you, man, uh, you go apply for a job, they reject you, you hear from that. A woman rejects you, you hear from that. But when the Lord rejects you, man, shit, that's our only help. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest in me. And what do the priests are set up to do? Teach the people. You can't even teach nobody, man. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And so the Lord said, I'm going to forget you and your children, man. And I'll be little, I'll be you, shit. Look at our people, man. Let's get this, man. I, I want to get this, though. I'm just flowing in the spirit. You, you, you just look out into the earth, you know what I'm saying? You say, I destroyed our people. You're like, yo, the Lord really pulled a number on them, man. Let's get this. Proverbs 22 and 6 and it reads, train up a child in the way that he or she shall go. And when he or she is old, it says he, but it applies for the male and the female, right? The, the woman and the man and a woman. Train up a child, Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way 
They're saying, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And we won't raise up. The majority of us won't raise up in the, in the Bible the right way. Through the teeth. Because remember, Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, his mind, which shall feed you with knowledge, wisdom, understanding. The scripture basically train you up. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a right way. With morals. This place has... See, see this devil, he, he makes sure our people don't learn morals. He, he Shit, this is big business. Our people being rebels. Our people not taking heed to this word. That, that's, that's big business. Because you know that means um, more idols being worshipped. Meaning more um, pagan customs being worshipped. Uh, shit, the prisons get to fill up. You know what I'm saying? More um, fatherless homes, more um, so-called so um, baby mamas, all that, you know what I'm saying? Was gonna, that shit was um, structured, man. That baby mama shit, that's easy to set that up, man. You see? With that, um, pretty much that feminism, you know what I'm saying? You um, get the man out of the house, you know what I'm saying? Then I say, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you some, um, I'm going to give you Section 8. And you women feel it, Eve being beguiled, but you so damn smart though, right? Eve being beguiled again, because you so damn smart though, right? You stupid as shit, you see? Now we understand, um, um, it's, um, exception to the rule, things happen. Maybe a woman was married, you know what I'm saying? Her husband, you know what I'm saying? Probably got deleted in war and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? So she had to get, you know what I'm saying, government assistance, things of that nature. Probably had like two, three C's and stuff. But, but what I'm talking about is the, this whole system set up for the man not to be in the house so it, so it won't be nothing but damn baby mamas every day with damn projects. You don't get it? A project. Matter of fact, let's get a definition for project. Why I'm at it? Let's just get the definition. In my pro Everybody's repping their damn project, right? I'm repping my damn hood, right? Let's get this right quick, man. Let's get a definition for project. I'm going to get a definition. Everybody's repping, repping their project, right? Look at this shit. A project. Can I play it? Project. A project. An individual uh, collaborative enterprise. So this, so this is an enterprise that this devil set up that is carefully planned. So, so a project is carefully planned. They mapped it out. You see? Let's see what happened when we do this. The only thing they had to do, the only thing Sleazy had to do is take that man. And, and then you notice the, on, the only man that they took out the household was the Israelite man. Ain't that some shit? The only man that was taken out of the household, you know what I'm saying, was a so-called black man, Latino, and they didn't make any, mainly the so-called black man, though. And everything fell down to the damn ground, yo, because it was a project. It was planned already. You see, and going right back to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, right? The Lord said, my people are destroyed. The Lord going to destroy that homelessness, your damn drugs. Train up a child in the way that he should go. He would never depart. Look at our women just twerking them. Prostitution at his all-time high. Them adultery. This is what our people are being groomed to, to do. You know what I'm saying? This is nonsense. The Lord said what? Well, a project. An individual or collaborative enterprise that is pretty much all the so-called black women is down with this shit. I say 99.9999999999999% you know what I'm saying of the Israelite women are down with this bullshit. You see? Kicking the man out of the house. I don't need you. I don't need you. That shit started in like the 60s. Somebody told me it started back in the 50s, you know what I'm saying? When it was uh, kind of like testing the waters. Where it been started, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a project. It's this collaborative enterprise that is carefully planned to achieve a particular aim to, to destroy, further destroy our nation. You see? And look, 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 a government subsidized housing development. You see, look, 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 we're relatively low rents. Ain't that the damn projects? It was a project. You're, you being in the projects, it was a project. You see? Damn it, man. Damn it. Through, man. Let's go right back to the scriptures. So once again, Proverbs 22 and 6, and us bringing out the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the scripture, it grieves the enemy. I want, I want to get that. Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way that he or she shall go, and when he or she is old, he or she will, will not depart from it. <clears throat> Now the Lord's bringing us back, bringing the hopeful elect back to the knowledge now. Now we're starting to know saying, train up our child in the way that they shall go, but the majority of our people is too far gone. 
for the majority of you Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native American, it's too far gone. I want to get this too. I'm just flowing in the spirit, man. I was watching the, um, the elder brother Karata Zakbar from Baltimore's video. Now they're charging 10 years, you know what I'm saying, as adults now. Look, charge 10 year old Israelite um, boys and girls as adults now. You see, they call it problem, reaction, solution. They cause the problem. They see how people throwing damn blickies in the neighborhood. You hear all kind of Israelites, you know what I'm saying, say, oh, damn, um, train loads of blickies, you know what I'm saying, ammunition, you know what I'm saying, weapons pulled up in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Hell, they, they woke up, the damn train was there full of motherfucking blickies and shit. What you think kids going to do? They're going to go up in the damn train, they're going to get the shit. It was all a setup, just like putting candy in front of a baby. What you think the baby going to do, man? It was all by design. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 3. But now the Lord set up his men, you know what I'm saying, on the highways and byways, starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of the great millstone to tell our people to repent, turn back to the God of the Bible. Because if not, the Lord's going to fucking destroy you, man. You see? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, our adversaries' devices, man. And once again, the only man that they took out the house was the so-called black man. Ain't that, some, ain't that some shit? Look at it, Israel. You don't see what's the hell going on? You stupid ass women. Oh, I'm independent. I'm independent. Damn it, this is a project. You ain't independent. You still part of the damn project, man. You see? Your damn biggest component of the project. We'll put you over the head of the household. Look, the damn household is destroyed. What does it say again? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American is the God of the Bible. You're not seeking them, right? Should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And, and, and there you go. I, 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 want, I want to get this though. What's that scripture? Um, bear, bear with me. I must be allowed to get this. Bear with me. So, Rosh chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads For the blessing of the Father established the house of the children. That's why I decide how important the man is to the household, so how important the father is to a household. You see, because he established order in the house, man. You see, when the daddy is in the house, the kids get his order in the house. But when the daddy ain't in the house, just chaos and mayhem. Them kids run amok. They get into all kind of nonsense. Look, look at the stats. They said, um, I forgot the percentage. Brothers can put it up on the board. The percentage, you know what I'm saying? It says basically, you know what I'm saying? When a, when a, um, a man is raising a son or either a daughter, they're more likely to graduate college and go off to be, you know what I'm saying, um, a pretty much a good person in society. But when a woman by herself is raising the, um, the, the son and a daughter, the son is more likely to be in prison by the age of 15, and the daughter is more likely, you know what I'm saying, to, to become a prostitute, you know what I'm saying, and a whore, you know what I'm saying, and, and to be a baby mama by the age of uh, 14. Look at the stats, man. Because the scripture right here, listen to them. And so, so our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, but they think they're so smart though, right? So Rock chapter 3, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 9. For the blessing of the father established the house of the children. So, so having a dad in the house, having a father in the house is a blessing, man. But the curse of the mother rooted out foundation. Look at the households where it's just the women there. Shit is once again the damn projects. Look at the projects where you got the women ruling. The damn shit is destroyed. Nothing but chaos, thugs everywhere. The damn drugs every damn where crime infested. People are destroyed. I'm saying, but this 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 is what happens. I'm saying when the wicked rules the earth. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I got, I got one. That's a bad. So I'm gonna read it again. So, Rock chapter three, verse nine. Of, of course, the pastor in the church is not gonna read this. Of course, your college professor is not gonna because everybody down with the damn plan. Everybody's down with the project. So, Rock three and nine for the blessing of the father established the house of the children. It's ordered within the house of a daddy there, but the but the, but the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. Your damn son do whatever the hell he wants to. And you know the girl should ninjas all in the damn household, all in the daughter's bedroom, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's true. Look at the average Negro Latin. Look at the average, average Israelite household. Shit is true, man. You just, just straight up just true, man. This is the last scripture I want to get before I roll out, man. Screenshot that. It's just true, man. Everything is true. Let's get this last one, man. 
Sirach chapter 30, verse 3, and it reads, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. So, so our enemy sleeps to eat Esau, even that pissed off now that the men of the Lord are out there on the highways and byways, teaching our people wrong from right. What did it say again? We're teaching our, we're teaching our sons, you know what I'm saying? If, look, look. Do it. Follow the law, studies, the commandments, said the Bible, said the best of your ability. Seek the Lord. You see, rehearse the righteous act. Don't be worshiping Christmas, um, your birthdays, Easter, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, all this other nonsense. Don't don't be out there performing witchcraft. Don't gang bang. Don't sell drugs. And that grieves the enemy. That if, if if you see a woman with a man, do not mess with her. Go get you a woman that's single. You see, follow the ways of the Lord. Get, follow the righteous path. That grieves the enemy, man. Would it say, he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him, man. So you got a son out there, no saying you train him up, no saying the way that he shall go according to the scriptures. You have joy over your son. You see? You brag about him and everything, but who the hell can you brag about nowadays? Uh, thugs every damn well. Look, look at our sons and our daughters. Just thugs everywhere. You see? Bring shame. They bring shame to the households. So the Lord said, look, you, you, you don't want this knowledge? Then I got to destroy you then. You see? You just want to bring out something quick, man, through the spirit of your house. By Shemiah was shot. Lord willing, the hopeful elect is edified. Our people are destroyed for real, for real, man. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. This is just true, man. But the Lord going to fix it all. The Lord is going right back to Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. I think it's verse uh, 18, 17, 18. I think it's 18. The Lord says he's, he's going to heal us of our wounds. We have been wounded as a people, man. And it was all by design. It was, it was a big old project. You know what I'm saying? The whole shit was a big old project, man. College is a project. You see? The damn hood. You know what I'm saying? The projects in my projects. Look, look, look. All a damn plan. So we're not ignorant of Satan devices. Train up a child in the way that he shall go, and he'll never depart. And, and, look, look, and when you teach your sons, you know what I'm saying, the right way to go, it grieves the damn enemy. You see? It stops the prisons from being filled up, right? Less judges are getting paid. Less cops, you know what I'm saying, getting paid. All that. Less attorneys. Less lawyers. And, and, and this system can't run without crime. The whole system was set up to run off of crime. Crooks, criminals. So they set up the whole system, you know what I'm saying, to make it to where our people can't get ahead. So the only thing they can resort to is their crime. You Israelites better repent. Shalom.